check out these roles with CVS. I particularly like if you are somebody that loves to train others, you're somebody that likes to provide education, provide guidance. This will really be an opportunity for you because with this role, you're going to be collaborating with leadership to develop training. You're going to be helping to facilitate these trainings. You're going to be bringing people back to learning as they go. You are going to be helping them navigate different type of trainings that are provided within the organization, within CVS. In this case, you're going to be putting the training decks together, obviously with your leadership within the uh, training department. You're going to be doing a lot of presentation, brainstorming on different ways to help people learn better. That is really what this role is. And if you are like me that enjoy uh, helping people understand things better, simplifying things for people, then this will be a good opportunity to definitely go for. And the requirements are quite attainable. So if you are in medical or claims, you have done claims processing in the past, this position is another good one because that is all they're asking for, two plus years of medical or hospital claim processing experience. The education requirements is high school diploma or GED. They do have bachelor's degree, but that is a preference. So even if you do not have a bachelor's degree, you can still uh, go ahead and submit your application for this role. The salary range is between eighteen fifty and thirty one seventy two per hour. The next uh, position I'm also going to be talking about is one of my favorites with CVS as well, and this position is titled Eligibility Consultant Paper Operations. Whoever gets this position is basically going to be providing support uh, from a supervision perspective, making sure that all of data that are related to eligibility are transferred in correct manner. Because what happens is that there is a backlog of paper work that a lot of health insurance companies still has, and they are gradually working those paperwork transferring them into their database, making sure that those information are reconciling. This individual is going to be providing a lot of support to make that happen. You're going to be making sure that information that are being entered are accurate. So this is really a data entry role. So if you have someone that loves data entry, this will be an opportunity for you. You're going to really be working very closely with other people to ensure that the coordination of this process is from A to Z happens. They're looking for somebody that is very detail oriented, someone that has strong organization skill set because you need that to be able to go from one point to another. Should you take a break, you are able to pick up where you left off. So someone that is very, very organized. Also, they're looking for somebody that is able to research and analyze data because you're going to be using those data points to either communicate issues or communicate trends, positive or negative. You are going to really be responsible for information entry, information validation, and so forth. The salary range for this role is between $17 and $28.45 per hour. That is the range. And again, for education, they are only asking for high school diploma or GED. So that is it for this role. The next opportunity is EAP Work Life Customer Support. One of the reasons I particularly like this position is that you are going to be working late hours. So Tuesday to Saturday, 11.30 a.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern. So that is the hours. So for folks that may be looking for oh, a day a day of the week for appointments. This could be a good opportunity to think about because then you will always have Monday off and Monday is a day you can potentially just allocate for appointments. So that is really one of the perks with this one. You're starting later and also ending a little bit later. You are going to be working to uh, make sure that any type of task, especially with regards to policies and procedures, that they are being followed in a time manner and making sure that those um, policies and procedures that have been put in place are actually being um, operationalized. You are going to be responding to member inquiries as well. You're going to be making sure that any type of problems or issues that are identified are resolved. So this is a fully remote role. You get to work from anywhere. This position schedules may be adjusted based on business need, they say here, which means that even the, the Tuesday through Saturday can switch 
shop to become something else, the business needs, that's going to determine whether that schedule or that shift uh, changes. Let's talk about the requirements a bit. So with the requirements for this role, they are asking for one year of customer service, also one year experience in psychological humor service field, like providing client support. Uh, they do need you to have a uh, good uh, computer knowledge, uh, whether it's Teams, Microsoft Office, Excel, Outlook, and so forth. So really just having those basic knowledge as well as program navigation. With CVS, they do provide you with internet as well as equipment to work. So I want to make sure that I chip that in. So for folks that may not know that, should you get a job with um, CVS, you automatically are provided with equipment to work from home. With this position, the salary range is $18.50 to $35.29 per hour. That is the salary range. And they're asking for high school diploma. That is what they're asking for. So that's pretty much it for CVS. I do have a bonus role that I wanted to share with you guys, which is with Trinity Health. Trinity Health is looking for our representative level one. Um, Trinity is looking for someone to come fill that role. This opportunity is full time and it is day shift. So it allows you to work from home. You're going to be working from home full time. You do not need to go into any physical office and you do not need to reside in any particular state. With this position though, they are asking for you to work 10 30 a.m to 7 p.m shift monday through friday eastern so the hourly pay rate is uh, between 18 45 and 27 dollars and 70 cents per hour so that is the hourly range with this position you're going to be doing a lot of email support you're going to be providing a lot of phone call support you are going to actually be making the calls so you will not necessarily be receiving any you are going to be focusing on just helping people in general, helping people that are within the organization, navigate issues, resolve issues, and helping to make sure that any type of cases or issues are escalated over to HR and managed in a timely manner that they are resolved as quickly as possible and also making sure that HR type of rules and regulation policies and procedures are being enforced, making sure that any type of documentation requesting documentation from employees, getting them in a timely manner, providing appropriate storage as well. Those all come into play with this position. Again, the pay rate is $18.46 to $27.70 per hour. That is the salary range. So those are the opportunities for this video. I hope you find these leads helpful. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel should you not have subscribed already, and I encourage you to continue to share these videos with your friends and families till next time i wish you guys the very best of luck take care guys bye bye